hello guys welcome to easy to make designs in this tutorial series we discuss about adobe photoshop cc and in previous video we discussed about image size and resize the images today we'll talk about crop and straighten an image and expand the canvas select the crop tool in the tools panel or you can directly press from the keyboard C so there is the shortcut key of crop tool is C or you can select the crop tool in the tools panel here a crop border appears here drag any edge or corner to adjust the size and shape of the crop border drag inside the crop border to the position the image inside the crop border or drag outside the crop border to rotate or straighten the image you can drag your cropped frame right to left or up or down here you can see the crop border is fixed and your image is moving right to left or up to down uh, that means uh, only this part the crop border only crop border will cover or your cut the canvas like this will take some time here you can see the only crop border part is visible now and now I am undo the step mm, control Z control C click on the image now I drag the edge and adjust the size and shape of the crop border like this here you can drag outside the corner drag outside a corner of the crop border drag outside a corner of the crop border to rotate or straighten the image
once you activate the crop tool here you can see the option delete cropped pixel if you tick this box then cropped part once you crop the image once you crop the image you can't go back uh, or uh, the cropped part will be deleted here is the example now if I would like to increase the size from the bottom then canvas size is increased but the cropped part was deleted so here you can see if uh, this delete cropped pixel box is unticked then I crop this I crop this section then in I change my mind and crop the uh, decrease increase the size from the bottom I can easily do this but if uh, this box is ticked then I crop the part and change my mind then then bottom part was deleted just because of this tick because this tick means the cropped pixels are delete so when whenever you use this crop tool this box should be unticked for future changes this is content aware fill area outside the original image like this if I increase this from the top this blank part will automatically filled with the help of content aware tool which will active when we use crop tool it will take some time see um, this content aware uh, now I will show you if this will unticked crop the image increase from the top now you can see the increased part is empty I will show you how to expand the canvas mm, undo the steps mm, I here I undo the previous steps and now I expand the canvas uh, canvas from bottom choose image canvas size to add a canvas enter the amount of width and height to add measure width and height in the pixels for online use or in inches for 
print width for 0 height for 50 or we can say 100 let's uh, height will be 100 and select relative and then select an anchor point in the canvas diagram the arrows point to the sides where the canvas will be added so I want to add in bottom so the all arrow size sides will be from to bottom side then click OK now canvas size is increased now I will show you how to fill this and duplicate the layer with the help of with the shortcut key of control J control T control T to transform the image flip the image flip to vertically then adjust this image to the bottom side scale it then blur f mm, filter go to the filter then blur Gaussian blur increase the blur adjust the blur radius adjust the image in today's tutorial we'll learn about image size resize the image crop tools delete cropped pixels content aware tool and crop and straighten an image and expand the canvas and fill the empty space please like share and comment and subscribe to my channel for such more videos and don't forget to press the bell icon to get notified when we upload new videos